The Oklahoma Highway Patrol releases dash cam video of a trooper's close call on the side of the interstate Saturday night. It's just the latest example of a frequent danger. I spoke with a trooper who tells me it's a danger he's unfortunately grown used to. In this job, the side of the road comes with close calls. A large majority has been hit by something. Some closer than others, like this one last month. A trooper lucky to be alive. It can happen anytime on any highway. I hate to say it's become routine. Just ask Trooper Russell Calico. He was hit Saturday night on I-44. So I made a traffic stop, exited my car in 60, 65 uh, <laughs> miles per hour, uh, crashed into the back of my patrol car. A close call, but he's had closer. This one in April sent him to the hospital. This is signal A3. And these aren't his only examples. That I've been hit a lot. Yeah, I think I'm at six. People are not taking care while they get behind the wheel of a 5,000 pound missile. In November, fines increase for those that fail to slow down or move over for emergency vehicles. It's a step in the right direction. But that doesn't always stop drunk or distracted drivers. Calico's been hit by both. We're not asking people to, uh, I don't know, fly to the moon or something like that. It's very simple. His experiences may be the reason Saturday felt routine. I went and got in another car and went out and finished my shift. A close call he's thankful wasn't closer. This is the first one that the vehicle did make contact with me, so that's, that's good news. Now that driver Saturday is suspected of driving under the influence. Trooper Calico says it's really simple. Don't drink and drive or just put down your device so he and his colleagues can go home to their families.